Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video, here we go. It's been a bit of an odd time for Newcastle United of late. On the pitch, the results have been coming, as highlighted by wins against Chelsea and Manchester United in the Premier League, which sandwiched an impressive away draw against Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League. These positive displays, however, have been overshadowed by a number of serious injury issues. Heading into their 1-0 win over the Red Devils on Saturday, December 4, the Magpies were without the likes of Jacob Murphy, Dan Byrne, Callum Wilson, Sean Longstaff, Sven Botman, Elliot Anderson, Joe Willock, Harvey Barnes, and Matt Target. While Sandro Tonelli can't play either, due to his 10-month ban due to illegal betting charges from the Italian Football Federation. Eddie Howe and co. deserved all three points in their narrow but comfortable 1-0 win over Man United but couldn't get through the 90 minutes without suffering another major setback. Indeed, goalkeeper Nick Pope came off during the game and it has since been reported that he could miss up to five months of action with a dislocated shoulder. The only slither of good fortune is that the January transfer market is less than a month away, meaning Newcastle can look to sign a replacement in the near future. With that being the case, at Dugout News YouTube channel, we have decided to rank all the best options below. We will do so by looking at the quality of the goalkeeper, their availability, and the realisticness of the deal. Number 7, Loris Karius. Loris Karius is a name that will still send shivers down the spine of any Liverpool fans after his misfortune in the 2018 Champions League final. However, he is still only 30 years old and has been on the Newcastle United books since September 2022. Since arriving, he has played just one game for the Magpies. Incredibly, that came in the Carabao Cup final defeat to Manchester United last season. He conceded two goals on the day and his lack of minutes since suggests that he's not a realistic option to replace Pope. Number 6, Lukasz Fabianski. With their main man between the sticks out for around five months, it's not as though Newcastle necessarily need to spend big money on a long-term option. This could even cause problems down the line when Pope returns to fitness and the club suddenly have too many players for one position in the squad. To avoid this, they could look to sign Lukasz Fabianski from West Ham United on a loan or a short-term contract. He has lost his spot to Alphonse Ariela, so may be looking for more regular game time. But the 38-year-old isn't past it just yet, with four starts, two clean sheets, and only two goals conceded in the Europa League this term. Number 5, Martin Dubravka. Sometimes, the best option in football is to look to internal solutions. In Martin Dubravka, it shouldn't be forgotten that Newcastle already have the man who wears the number one shirt. The 34-year-old was a reliable shot stopper before Pope arrived to take his spot and isn't the worst option to have. He came on against the Red Devils after Pope's injury and did just fine. If the Magpies want a cost-effective option, and one that won't take any time to integrate into the team, Dubravka is ready and waiting. Number 4, Hugo Loris. Along the same lines as Fabian Ski, 36-year-old Hugo Loris would bring plenty of Premier League experience to Newcastle as a short-term option between the sticks. He is still technically a Tottenham Hotspur player, but hasn't even made the bench for any of their games this term. That rustiness would be a concern, but his pedigree is right up there with the best when it comes to options on the market right now. After all, Loris has won the World Cup with France and has played 444 times for Spurs, captaining them up until last season. Number 3, Kaylor Navis. Another veteran option who could be available this winter without too many issues. Kaylor Navis is currently at Paris Saint-Germain, but can't get a game. The 36-year-old has mostly had to settle for a spot on the bench, with John Luigi Donnarumma, the first choice. Navis loaned to Nottingham Forest last term, he played 17 times and helped them avoid the drop, showed a willingness to give English football a try and a move to a club at the other end of the table might be even more appealing to the Costa Rican. Navas would surely be an upgrade on the likes of Dubravka and Karius. Number 2, David De Gea. David De Gea has already been named as a possible target for the Magpies in male sport. After leaving Man United in the summer, he remains a free agent and so could, in theory, come in immediately, 
without having to wait until the January market opens. His Premier League experience makes him an attractive option. However, there are downsides. First of all, he is a free agent for a reason. Indeed, he fell out of favor at Old Trafford as he wasn't comfortable with the ball at his feet and his shot-stopping ability did seem less consistent in his final season or so. What's more, his huge wages would also be a potential stumbling block, he was on £375,000 per week during his final contract with the Red Devils. Still, we all know Newcastle have pretty deep pockets and they also wouldn't have to worry about a transfer fee. What's more, Pope isn't exactly great with the ball at his feet either, so De Gea wouldn't be asked to do anything majorly different in terms of style of play, this makes him our second favorite to take the role. Number 1, Aaron Ramsdale It's no secret that Aaron Ramsdale could have his eyes on a new club this winter. After all, he lost his spot at Arsenal to David Raya and doesn't appear likely to win it back anytime soon. And yet, he didn't do anything majorly wrong and so remains a well-regarded goalkeeper. With that being the case, it would be an ambitious move from the Magpies to try and sign the Englishman from their rivals, and would also likely cost a lot in terms of a transfer fee, £60 million has been touted if he was to leave in the summer. Ramsdale, however, is an upgrade on Pope when it comes to passing and playing out from the back. So if Howe wanted to develop the team in that sense, this could be the perfect opportunity to upgrade on their current goalkeeper. Ramsdale's age, he is six years younger than 31-year-old Pope, and potential availability on the market make him our number one option for the Magpies. He's also a homegrown England international. The only major issue is the high transfer fee Arsenal would likely demand. Let us know what you think about the entire thing in the comments section below. Additionally, stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest news and updates from around the world. We sign out.